On today's show, standardized chargers, leaked Nexus 5 details, Nintendo Direct, an uncertain future for EA's NCAA football, and relaxing FAA rules for gadgets. It's Buffalo Bulletin time. Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story we talk about on the show, check the description for links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Skeva. Here are your top stories. The European Union seems to have decided it will be going forward with calls to make micro USB charging mandatory in all mobile devices. Obviously, this is most problematic for, say, Apple, who uses a proprietary lightning charging cable, but regardless, there's this little thing I would like to let the EU know about called technology that keeps moving forward, meaning micro USB will likely die at some point. So requiring a particular charger means no company, Apple or not, can create something faster and newer for future devices, and that's just dumb. Android fans eagerly awaiting the next Nexus phone might not be waiting much longer as a combined code and photo leak early this week gave us some glimpses of what the Nexus 5 may offer. It'll be designed by LG, Android KitKat 4.4, Snapdragon 800, 2 gigs of RAM, 8 megapixel camera. Now, those specs are not exactly top of the line for current phones, but that's never really stopped the Nexus line of devices from being superb. So we're really looking forward to the official announcement soon. In gaming, Nintendo held another Nintendo Direct event this morning, showing off a couple new trailers and announcing some exciting news. Super Mario World 3D got a fun trailer, playing as Sonic in Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS is now official, a new Kirby game for 3DS was announced, and a paid DLC pack for Pikmin 3 was also revealed. Now, I'm sure fans were really pleased with today's Direct, as these first-party IPs are seeing some of that old Nintendo magic attached. I'm still waiting for a new Metroid, though. Well, this story is interesting from gaming. It looks like EA has decided they will not release NCAA football next year and announced their intent to evaluate the future of the entire series. That may sound surprising given its popularity, but it's actually part of a long, complicated legal dispute between the NCAA and student athletes who want to be compensated for the use of their likeness in entertainment products like NCAA football. So the news is unfortunate, but hopefully a fair decision will be made for those athletes that put their bodies on the line every single game throughout their college careers. Lastly, our grab bag story for today will hopefully make frequent flyers a little bit more comfortable during takeoff and landing. An advisory panel recommended to the FAA that restrictions be lifted on mobile device use under 10,000 feet, meaning you'll be able to use your phone in airplane mode while the plane departs and arrives. A welcome change to airline policy for many of us tech geeks who travel. Well, that's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this gigantic subscribe button. See you guys next time.